All right, folks, we got the Durango Blues. I lost rear brakes on the Durango. Our front to rear brake line busted on me. So, thank goodness, you know, I caught it. And uh, thank God we got a dual master cylinder. When I made a video about this a while back, the problem with it is with this type of master cylinder, even though it's a quote unquote dual, with it not being no wall separating your front and rear brakes, that master cylinder gets pumped dry. So I'm having to stop about every couple miles and fill it up. But this is why, you know, I really, really, you know, like dual master cylinders. I don't like this one because it's junk. But you know, I still got front brakes, but it's a little sketchy because the front brake coaches on this thing are about ready to bust. So I'm hoping they don't bust because if they do, I'm really going to be up a creek. So and I'm trying not to pump the brakes too much because I don't want to run it dry in case I got a you know emergency stop here. But I tell you what, I mean it's one thing after another. It really is. And earlier today, uh, it didn't want to start. I was like, what in the world is going on? So our, our battery cables were loose. It was like, click, click. I'm like, what in the world? But uh, yeah, we got the Durango Blue, so that's no big deal. Battery cables just release. But now, big issue is I have no rear brakes. So I've been e-braking the heck out of it right now. And uh, kind of dangerous. But I'm trying to take, you know, the long way home. I got a green light up here, so, you know, I'll just, I'm going to take it. I'm going to have to. Hope nobody's coming. Got a green light. It's trying to slow down there. You know, the bad part about it is other people are getting mad, but I can't help it. I can't drive the speed limit because, you know, I can't slow it down. I mean, I can slow it down, but, you know, it takes a little bit, so... And when I get to a light, I just, once I get to a complete stop, I put it in park. But this is why, you know, it's my own fault. This is why when you're working on a vehicle, you need to do everything. you got to address everything because now I'm kicking myself for it because I didn't do any of the brake lines on it or the hoses. I've replaced the calipers and the wheel cylinders and of course the pads and you know our rear brake shoes but you know you got to do everything and i'm gonna delete this abs stuff because it's just i'm sick of it i think uh you know the bad part about it is if i get rid of it you know virginia is dumb and you know they won't pass inspection if you delete the abs Basically, if I pull all the lines off the ABS module, and uh, there we go, we had to put it in park here. I'm gonna take my foot off my pedal there. I don't want to push more fluid out. But uh, yeah, it was crazy. But uh, you know, just trying to be safe about it. But all right, let's put it in drive and go. But yep, brakes is not something to play with. And the bad side, the bad part about it is yeah i can get the hard line tomorrow it's probably i want to say it's a 3 16 but it's probably knowing the durango it's probably a quarter inch something oddball and of course guess what the rear brake hose is not going to come apart and you know it's a domino effect you gotta do it right i never replaced it so we're about to get a hose and guess what the parts place probably ain't going to have it until like monday or tuesday and on top of that, it's probably, hopefully, it's only just one hose. It's not two or three different types. And, you know, it just, uh, it's just aggravating. It really is. Uh, I hate stepping on this pedal. But the way this Durango is, is when you stop, if your pedal goes halfway down and then it gets hard, that means you lost your rear brakes. If it goes completely down, you lost the front, so hoping and praying you know I could maybe at home and uh, I'm just hoping and pray they got that brake hose tomorrow because I'm gonna be doing yet another emergency brake line replacement and that's not a joke it's literally an emergency replacement because you gotta have brakes that's dangerous 
I mean, I can't, and it sucks because I don't have any other vehicles to drive whatsoever. None. Man, I hate keep stopping like this. Losing more brake fluid, and I'm going to have to pull over. Check this thing. All right. All right, come on, light. All right, we got we got to pull over. Let's see. Let me go on up here. I ain't got enough distance to stop at that dealership. Don't want to be hitting a brand new car. I ain't got that kind of money. But see, this is the real world, folks. But you know, it's my own fault. I should have did all the braking lines all at one time. I'm hoping Virginia ain't gonna be stupid about it and they'll pass it because I'm deleting that ABS. I'm deleting all that junk. I mean, I'm gonna find a way because if you delete it, the bad part about it is you lose your speedometer. So it's gotta be a wire or something somewhere that you can jump over and bypass it so you still got your speedometer working. Because if you unplug it, you lose it and you know, you plug back it, obviously it works. So. I'm going to figure out a way to just get rid of all that junk. We're going to plumb it back old school and be done with it. That way, it's no more issues with the junk ABS. And honestly, my personal opinion, has a firmer brake pedal. And like I always said, you don't need ABS. Because, you know, if you common sense, if you know how to drive, and you're a good driver, you really don't need it. You know, all these old vehicles from, you know, the mid-80s and on back, the 60s, 50s, 40s, heck, even a Model T. They didn't have ABS. But, so this is what we got. I'm trying to baby at home. So, this is the real world, folks. Danger, stranger, strangers. And I'm trying to stay back, you know, like from side roads like that. I don't want somebody to pull out in front of me because I can't stop in time. I mean, yeah, I can e-brake it. Of course, I can gear it down. You know? But I don't want to be tearing my transmission out. So. Alright, so this is what we got. Get on home. I'm going to concentrate here. I think I got lucky, folks. Ain't much traffic tonight. That's good. good, good, good. That way I can just cruise here. I mean, I'm only going like 40. It's actually 55 through here, so. I mean, realistically, I could drive the speed limit, but I just don't want to chance it because you just don't know. People pull out in front of you. So, trying to be safe. I really don't want to drive it. I prefer not to drive it like this because it's dangerous, but <laughs> I ain't got a choice. Got to get home. I'm hoping it's 316s. I know y'all watching the video and, uh, you know, drop a comment below. I'm sure y'all, somebody's out there replaced a front to rear brake line and the uh, rear brake hose. And, uh, like on a Dakota or something like that, it probably is 316s. All right, a little bit further. All right, we got a hill coming up, so gravity is going to be our friend. I'll let off the gas, and we're going to coast over top of this hill. And uh, a little bit further, almost. Oh, man, this is sketchy. <laughs> That's for sure. It is sketchy, but got to get home. Got to get home. Okay, there's our culprit right there. We can right there. Yep. I'm hoping it ain't gonna be too awful bad to do. But uh, I don't know. Good day. Holy cow. Oh man. Oh, that's gonna be a job. Don't look good. I might just run the brake line on. I don't know. It's our culprit. There he. Of course, it's not going to be easy to replace. Too much brake fluid we went through. 
Not too bad. But yeah, there is no wall in there whatsoever. So, see. It's just running it dry. And there are proportion valves right here. And the valve inside that is stuck. So it's just letting that master cylinder just run dry. You know, I have not run it dry. I have not run it dry. It's a big no no there. Don't ever do that. Then you ain't gonna have brakes, period. I need to be pumping it all day. All day. All right. So what we got? So we we'll end the video here. And ground, ground. We made it safe. Oh, we made it safe. Not yet though. Still taking the guy about two more miles. But ground, we made it this far. We made it safe. Thank God. Yeah, I'm exaggerating a little bit. All right. See y'all later.